Good evening and welcome to Poland Daily. I'm Nicholas Richardson and this is the news. Jarosław Kaczynski, the leader of the ruling Law and Justice Party, confirmed that Poland will not back down in the continuing spat with the European Union. In a recent twist, the European Commission and the European Parliament have called on the Polish Prime Minister to withdraw his motion to the country's constitutional tribunal, asking it to rule on whether European Union law takes precedence over the Polish constitution. In a public letter to members of the Gazeta Polska clubs, Kaczynski said, This is an extraordinary demand that hits directly at the foundations of our sovereignty, our constitutional order and at the laws of Poland. Kaczynski wrote that the situation was being used by the Polish opposition to overthrow the democratically elected government by taking advantage of street protests and foreign institutions. We must defend Poland, we must defend Europe, we must defend the circle of Christian civilization, which is our spiritual home. We hope that we will be successful, he concluded. On the 10th of April 2010, President Lech Kaczynski and 95 representatives of Poland's elite died in a plane crash. The wreckage of the plane is still in Smolensk, and the Russians still claim that the crash was caused by pilot error. Meanwhile, a team of Polish investigators led by Antony Matsyrewicz, a member of parliament and a legend of the anti-communist opposition, is about to publish a report from their work. According to them, there is a recording of the explosion on the black box of the plane. The commission believes that the catastrophe was planned. 150 kilometers away from Warsaw, activists of Gazeta Polska clubs from all over the world gathered. The organization brings together Polish patriots committed to their homeland and its meetings are visited by the country's most important politicians. The Congress provided an opportunity to present new information. Traces of explosive substances were also detected on the twin plane TU-154. In 2009, the machine was overhauled in Russia without the control of Polish intelligence. When it comes to the type of materials, there are hexagen, penthrite and TNT. These are three types of materials that were found on the wreckage of TU-154-101 at the wreckage site and that were found in the left wing in plane 102 and in places that are not accessible that can only be opened during repairs. Maciarewicz said that there are recordings from the black box where the sound of the explosion from TU-154 can be heard. According to the findings of investigators, the sound was deliberately disguised by the Russians. The explosion happened 100 meters before the birch tree which allegedly cut off the plane's wing. We have indisputable evidence that this is what happened. It will no longer be possible to lie to the Polish public and international opinion by saying that it was some kind of a failure, that it was the Polish pilots. This is now over. The Russians have lost one of the most important tools they used against Poland. The final report of the Smolensk subcommittee also includes an analysis of the scattering and destruction of the bodies of the plane crash victims. More than one third of the victims bore traces of numerous and serious burns. Elements of internal organs and fragments of passengers' bodies were found even before the traces of the first collision of the plane with the ground. There are dozens of pieces of evidence for the plot. No reasonable person will question the findings made by dozens of scientists from many laboratories around the world. The Commission had to find the truth despite not having access to the wreckage of the plane. According to the findings, Donald Tusk wanted to conclude a military agreement between Poland and Russia within the framework of which there were to be joint military actions, called peaceful ones. The agreement was to be finalized in May 2010. What Antonio Macierewicz said is confirmed by numerous contacts of our military counterintelligence services with Russian intelligence services. There are photos and it is known what happened in St. Petersburg, where leading representatives of Polish military intelligence were partying with Russian counterparts. The crash happened on the territory of the Russian Federation, and the plane was owned by a special aviation regiment, its pilots highly trained officers. Almost immediately after the crash, the Russians launched a propaganda campaign which blamed the pilot, the Polish Air Force Command and President Kaczynski himself. It took more than a decade to straighten out the lies. Despite the evidence presented by Polish investigators, the Kremlin is still sticking to its propaganda version. The same is voting on bills related to the New Deal Poland program. If everything goes well, from next year the annual tax-free allowance will rise to 30,000 zwoty, almost a nine-fold increase. Poles will also be given the right to build houses of up to 70 square metres, virtually without formalities. The same has also adopted an anti-corruption bill. The Act on the Construction of Houses of Up to 70 Square Metres Without Formalities passed without amendments. Now the Senate will consider it. Facilitating such projects is good because this is the right direction. We have very serious problems with construction because it takes a long time to sort out the paperwork. In such situations, as usual, the devil is in the detail. Trading on Sundays has been banned in Poland since 2016. 
However, retail chains circumvent this law by pretending to provide postal services. The same has sealed the ban by adding to the law that outlets where half of the revenue comes from postal services will be allowed to operate. We will check how MPs voted on this issue. Thank you to everyone who decided to support the Sunday trading ban. I am concerned that many parliamentarians were against it. They sided with the large multinationals that exploit workers in Poland. Another change concerns a 500-plus allowance for each child. According to the new regulations, applications will only be able to be submitted online. The same has also adopted an anti-corruption bill, which extends a list of offences, the commission of which will be punishable by very severe penalties, including a lifetime ban on working in public institutions in the event of a repeat offence. Corruption destroys social and economic life. Almost three million Poles have emigrated because of corruption. Corruption makes us pay more for services and products. Our bill is an epochal change and I am glad that it will enter into force. Another change is an increase in the salaries for people in leading state positions. The Prime Minister, Deputy Ministers and MPs will earn about 5,000 zloty per month more, while the same and the Senate Marshals will earn 9,000 zloty per month more. And now news of a tragedy which occurred in Warsaw in front of the Prime Minister's office building. Medical professionals have been protesting there for several days, demanding dramatic pay rises. The protest is supported by the opposition media. Today, a 70-year-old man shot himself with a rocket and died as a result of his injuries. The suicide victim left a letter explaining that he wanted to protest against a doctor's strike and against the political nature of this demonstration. We regretfully pass on information from the police that a patient has died in hospital. Please respect the situation and refrain from commenting. The health workers are demanding that medical professionals be granted the status of public officials and that a system be created to protect employees from verbal and physical aggression by patients, that sick leave be introduced after 15 years of professional work and that laws on laboratory medicine and the profession of paramedic be passed. The health ministry, however, argues that the cost of these demands will be enormous and would ruin the budget. That's the news. Thank you for watching. Stay with us on the weather, Poland Daily Business and more programmes. But from me, it's have a good night and a better tomorrow.